everybody welcome to Polly's crocheted creations i'm tori your hostess and i want to wish everybody a happy halloween as today is october 31st and it is halloween night so what do i have going well um as you can see i have the rainbow um, fingerless gloves, the rainbow glasses, and yes, I did add yellow to this hat because this is a happy mandala yarn, and what is happy mandala yarn without yellow? This is also made with happy mandala yarn, and this is a um, tutorial by uh, Hooked by Robin. Can't exactly remember the name of the tutorial, but I will find it and put it in the description box below. Um, what am I wearing today? Well, I'm, I decided that, let me put my hair out. This is getting really warm. I decided today is this costume today. It, I'm called the happy, um, rainbow hooker. <laughs> I'm called the rainbow hooker for today. Um, because I'm dressed in rainbow and rainbows are very very happy to me they put me in my happy place and let me see okay. there we go that's better now you can see me completely i'm going to change my glasses because i can't see you and i'm just looking at a very blurry screen i can see some rainbows but that's pretty much it so i'm going to change my glasses and oh my gosh there we go I can see you now this beanie here is okay let me pause that sorry I had to readjust my camera so um, like I said this uh, this ensemble is all rainbow uh, ensemble I love the happy Mandela yarn Happy Mandela yarn is actually one of my all-time favorite yarns. Um, I am going to take the hat off uh, right now uh, because I wanted to show you the hat. And um, I'm just going to leave my hair loose. All right. So um, the Happy Mandela yarn, it has, in this hat, it doesn't have green. But it has green um it looks like turquoise um, or blue, hot pink, red, and yeah, turquoise, hot pink, red, blue, and green and orange. Now, the only thing that they were missing in this is a yellow. The yellow actually, in my opinion, okay, the yellow actually brings all the other colors out, in my opinion. Um, I made this scarf quite some time ago, actually when I first started crocheting and I started watching tutorials. Um, I came across it on um, <sighs> Hook by Robin's channel. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's called the Block Stitch Scarf. I need a cup of coffee. And this is... Uh, coffee coffee gives me the creeps give me the creeps coffee give me the creeps uh, actually coffee doesn't <laughs> i love coffee so i guess that's a conundrum maybe i don't know so this cup here was a gift from my wonderful sister deb um i love my cup she also gave me another cup, um, and I will be using this in future videos, that says, all my children's, all my children have paws, okay? And all my children do have paws, because I don't have any children. So, um, my cats are my kids. Uh, this um, was the, one of the first hats, or say, well, several uh, hats. But this is Happy Mandela yarn as well that I made. Um, this cobblestone hat. 
This one is the um, Charlie's Crossroad Beanie. So Cobblestone Hat and Charlie's Crossroad Beanie. I love both of them and I love Happy Mandela yarn. Okay. Um, it is one of my favorite yarns. I was going to actually put some earlier makes from where I was in this video, but I have since decided that I'm going to actually do a different video for where I, where I started and where I am now. Uh, right now I'm just showing you some yarn and showing you, um, works in progress progress and i think i did leave no i didn't leave the other one um i do have some works in progress that i'm trying to finish um yeah i do have the other one over there but i am making i am doing a um 100 days of christmas with lorraine from chatelaine makes and um the last time she did a video it was a free stitch and crystal from bago de crochet and i will link the the um i will link the stitch that i did hold that thought okay sorry i had to find the the name of the stitch um this is Oh, I just lost my... Okay, sorry. I had to find the stitch. Um, now I found my crochet hook. I had to find the stitch that I did. Um, and it's a new stitch that Crystal came out with. And it's called the Knotted Half Double Crochet. And it's a one row repeat. And it's extremely easy. If I can do it, you can do it too. Um, so... This here, I'm just losing all of my stitches. Oh my goodness, I should have put a stitch marker in here. Okay, I can put a stitch marker in here right now because I have a dozen stitch markers, if not more, on my table. So I'm going to put a hot pink, I'm going to put a peach stitch marker in here then I don't lose any more stitches okay so this is my work in progress this is just going to be a scarf or a shawl or something that I can put over and um, put over my shoulders when I do my videos now this is the knotted half double crochet okay and this here is the same on both sides And then on top here, I was doing the single crochet rows. Um, I had decided that, oh, I have two, two stitch markers right here. Okay. Duh. Um, I had decided that I'm going to actually do the stitch of the day and the uh, single crochets in the same color because then I don't get confused. Okay. So take my orange stitch marker and pop it up here. So that is my work in progress. Again, uh, bag of day. Um, this one's my stitch. This is bag of day. This is bag of day. And this is bag of day. So, uh, I do really love that knotted half double crochet, just like I love the bean stitch. Um, so I might be designing something with those and I am working on a new stitch myself and hopefully, hopefully it works out. I'm going to try and work on it throughout the week. Um, I do need to get uh, my mother-in-law shawl. I'm working on my mother-in-law shawl. I'm doing a shawl from Fiber Spider. It's called the 3D Stitch. Um, so I'm doing actually two shawls for my mother uh, who's in a nursing home in uh, Tabor. 
Um, and it's actually not my mother. It's my mother-in-law. Okay. Uh, she's such a sweet, sweet lady. Um, so the other shawl, I initially was going to do the other shawl in a, what do you call it? A cloud cake. And the color was, it's kind of like orange, not orange, but well, maybe a little bit of orange, but, uh, kind of yellows and stuff like that. Uh, it's not sandbar or anything, but it's something else. Can't remember the name of it. But I decided to change things up and I decided to do my mother-in-law's favorite color is purple. So what I did is I went to Michael's today and I picked up a couple yarns. Uh, one of my favorite yarns and I love the color yellow. Okay. So one of my favorite yarns is Loops and Threads and this is soft plastic. Okay. Loops and Threads soft plastic. It is... 252 yards, 5 ounces, 231 meters, 141 grams. Now, if you look here, there's a scan coat. That would probably most likely be for this pattern for the blanket. Just below that, you will see the name of the color of the yarn. This is called highlighter. Um, then you have your barcode on the bot on the bottom or your scan code or whatever for uh, scanning purposes. Um, and I do like the fact that they actually put the date on the ball bands. Uh, this is 100% uh, acrylic and it says machine wash cold cycle gentle. Do not bleach, tumble dry on low. Do not iron. Now I've washed acrylic on, um, hot water i've washed acrylic on cold i've tumble dried it with hot water or hot heat or warm heat or whatever and nothing's happened so um but this is my favorite color yarn along with the happy mandela yarn now i cannot say enough about this happy mandela yarn okay so that's one of the ball bands that i bought now um, my husband told me that my mother-in-law's favorite color is purple. Um, and I picked up the Yarnspiration Caron Big Cake. I'm not sure exactly what shawl I'm going to make. Um, but I'm, I think I might pick one of Crystal from Bago de Crochet's, uh, channel. I may, might pick one of her shawls. Um, because this will work up really nice. Now, what this is, is it's called grape jelly. And who doesn't love grape jelly? Well, I love grape jelly. Actually, grape jelly is my favorite. So, um, <clears throat> it is a medium four weight. <clears throat> it is five millimeter knitting needles, five millimeter crochet hook. You can machine wash it. Do not bleach. You can machine dry it. Do not iron and do not dry clean. It is 100% acrylic. It is 10.5 ounces, 300 grams, 603 yards, and 551 meters. Wow. Now this will make a shawlette, and I call the triangle shawls that go around your neck. I call them shawlettes. Okay. You can either put it around your neck or you can put it over your shoulders. Small, easy, simple, to the point. Um, like I said, I'm not exactly sure what pattern I'm going to follow, but is that not gorgeous yarn? Like OMG. I cannot get over how much I love this yarn. Um, and there's another one that I really, really like, and it's called Toffee Brickle. That's another my favorite. I'm glad they brought that back. The only thing uh, that's really disappointing is that um, the Craftsmart, they got rid of my Christmas yarn. Yeah. I love this specific yarn by Craftsmart. 
it's nice and soft and you've seen a hat made out of it uh, but it's nice and soft and I'm not going to run and get it right now because it's across the room so um, and it's called cranberry ivory or cranberry ivy yeah cranberry ivy now I love that yarn that is my favorite if I went to Michael's on Friday and they had a dozen balls I would snap that yarn up in a hurry because I can't get enough of it and if I ever find it again I am going to make um, some other uh, makes from it now if you hold that thought I'm going to show you something I will be so glad when I get an office chair okay um, this is made from cranberry ivy okay this is Bella's Christmas outfit one of Bella's Christmas outfit the other Bella the other Christmas outfit that I had initially made Bella I made from uh, loops and threads soft and shiny white or off-white I think it's white and I made it from uh, Mary Maxim sparkle yarn Christmas yarn and then the sparkle yarn was from uh, Patsy from Patsy's crochet one Christmas so I made up a really nice outfit for Bella this here is my favorite yarn I have made um, two hats one or two hats with this yarn and I am going to be making a third because I do have enough yarn enough left of that yarn because I have three small balls which will make make it enough to make another hat um, so cranberry ivory cranberry ivy uh and i did pair it with the um caron latte cake in white now if i was to wash this in the washing machine i would have to wash it in cold water and i would have to air dry it or very minimal heat because the latte cakes if you want if you dry it wash it on hot and dry it on hot it will melt the latte cakes that's what I was told so that is Bella and Bella wishes everybody a happy Halloween she's dressed up for Christmas so Bella's gonna take off for a while she might come back at the end of the video but I don't know um, we'll see how she acts We'll, we'll see if she's asleep or not because it is almost time for her bed so there you go Bella sweetie yes all right so um the other make that I'm working on okay this is okay that's the one for Chatelaine makes now I went to Walmart the other day Sorry, my, I'm not used to having my hair down, so bear with me. Okay. I went to Walmart the other day, and I picked up, because I have, uh, I, I have a project I'm working on. Um, it is a, it's my um, Charlie's Crossroad beanie that I'm working on, um, and I am going to design a cowl to go with that. Now, this is Mainstay Yarn, Mainstay Acrylic. Is this not gorgeous? Oh, MG, I love this yarn. It is a little stiff, but I can tell you that this does, um, this does soften up when you wash it. And to me, this is actually the Red Heart yarn with a mainstay label, in my opinion. That's my opinion alone, okay? Um, this is mainstay acrylic which we finally have here in Canada, Canadian Walmarts. We finally have Mainstay Acrylic. We also have Colorama Halo, which has come in, and I am going to try and pick up some of that on Thursday when I get paid. Uh, this is 285 yards, 260 meters, 5 ounces, 147 point, or 141.7 grams. Sorry. My tongue's just not working. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, it is a medium four weight. Uh, the recommended hook size 
is a 5.5 millimeter and a 5.5 millimeter knitting needles. Now, that is a recommended hook size. You can go up in a hook size if you want, or two or three, or you can go lower. If you go up higher, you will get a more of a drape if you go higher, okay? Um, and uh, care instructions, this is machine wash and tumble dry. That's all it says. Um, machine wash and hot machine wash in water not exceeding 104 degrees or 4 degrees 40 degrees celsius at a delicate setting um, do not bleach tumble dry on low heat uh, at delicate setting do not iron or press do not dry clean okay i love this yarn again like i said I love popping colors. That's me. Um, some people might not like that. Now, this is something that is in the works, but not quite completed because I only just started it at work the other day, yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. No, the day before. I got off yesterday morning uh, because I'm doing 12 hour shifts now. But this is just in the works. Okay. And this is going to be the um, Charlie's Crossroad beanie. Um, and I know um, it's actually named after. Uh, it's after, actually named after my cousin's dog that she was supposed to get but unfortunately passed away. So that's Charlie's crossroad beanie. Um, so that there is another project that I'm working on. And like I said, the happy mandala yarn looks so much better with yellow in it. I totally love it. See, I got a ball of yellow ready to go for that project. So, um, What's coming up on the channel? Well, I am going to be, I picked up, uh, where did I put those beads? Oh yeah, okay. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make stitch markers. Um, and that's coming up. I'm gonna try and get up, get it up within the week, but I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make stitch markers. Hopefully, my hands can handle it. Um, that's all I'm saying is hopefully my hands can handle it. I have the beads picked out already that I'm going to do or that I'm going to use. Now these beads that I'm going to show you are a gift from the lovely Lorraine from Chatelaine Makes. Um, I did go and pick up the Eyelet. Brass and nickel free uh, radium uh, eyelet uh, assorted pins. So in this pack, you got some small pins, then you got some a little bit bigger pins, and then you got the really big pins. Okay. So I picked up these, so I'm going to make stitch markers. Now, what I'm going to be using for the stitch markers are the beads that I picked up, or that uh, Lorraine from Chatelaine Makes uh, had sent me. Uh, it was a gift from Timo. The first thing that I'm going to use for my stitch markers are these gorgeous skulls. I love these skulls. And I think these skulls would be awesome earrings. So that is what I plan on doing with these ones. Skulls. This next set of uh, charms is, and hopefully you can see it. 
Uh, one side says my cat. My cat. And the other side says it has a paw. I'm going to make these up into stitch markers slash earrings. So you will be able to use them as stitch markers or if you feel like going out on the town, whatever, and you need a delicate, dainty set of earrings to show that you love your cat, um, that's what these ones are going to be. Okay. Uh, the next item that I'm going to use are these gorgeous, show you this way, these gorgeous beads. I love these gorgeous beads. So I'm going to use these in col collaboration with those to make some stitch markers. Okay. Um, I was watching a fellow podcaster and um, this individual um, was making, I believe it was an asymmetrical shawl where on one side you decrease um, and on the other side you increase and then she was um, having a, a hard time remembering which side she actually increased and which side she decreased. So what she did was she took um, a couple of her stitch markers uh, like these ones here and she marked a D she marked a D here and then she marked an I on another one and put it at both ends of her work. Okay. Um, which I think is absolutely ingenious. So what I decided to do is I'm going to make specific stitch markers for increase and decrease. So it will be a D on one side or a D on one, on one stitch marker and an eye on the other. I'm not exactly sure what pattern or what thing I'm going to use, but I decided that that's what's going to, what I'm going to do in the future for stitch markers. Um, and this podcaster, I do want to say thank you to that person for um, the ingenious idea. Like I said, is if I find the channel again, I'll link the channel down below. Um, where she talks about taking a, taking a stitch marker and just marking and marker a D and a marking an I. So I need a cup of coffee. I need a sip of coffee. I'm getting a little bit parched. So, um, Again, thank you so much, Deb, for this coffee cup. Love it. So, uh, what else is coming up? I am going to um, do a hat video. And when I say a hat video, I'm going to show you where I started off with when I was creating hats. Um, and I couldn't get, the, I couldn't figure out for the life of me how to do a hat. So, I just cut fumbling around, fumbling around, fumbling around. And then finally I started getting into, and it was because of watching Crystal's uh, tutorials on hats that, oh, okay, you do this and you increase this many rows and, and then you start your, your hat pattern. Um, so I started doing that and it actually worked out really good. Uh, I have so many hats, um, that I can show you. Uh, I have done the divine hat, which I love doing. I do have to watch uh, Fiber Spiders tutorial again on that because I haven't done a divine hat. I've been working on only my hats lately. Um, and I do have um, my hat patterns written out. Um, and I am working on getting them done into a PDF. I don't know how to do PDFs. And I really wish that I knew how to do a um, web page, but I don't know how to do anything like that. So I uh, 
I am working on that. And I'm going to pop this hat on. There. That's much better. Um, so that's, that's what I'm going to be working on. I am going to do a, probably another video. I'm not exactly sure. Oh yeah. I'm going to do another video on previous makes, um, from where I started to where I am now and then designing. I know this hat is a little bit long and it could be classified as a slouchy hat. Um, which is not really long, long. If I went more with the yellow, then it could be classified as a slouchy hat, but you can also take this and roll up the rim. As they would say with Tim Horton's coffee, roll up the rim. But that's another, that's another thing. I don't want to get copyrighted, copyright. Um, so that's what I'm working on right now. I do have things that are in the plans for the future, but they're only in the plants and not completely solid yet. And I'm working on getting them solidified. Um, so again, happy Halloween from the rainbow hooker. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry. I just had to throw that in there. If you find something, on YouTube that you are interested in doing um, or that you are doing and you like to do don't quit keep trying because eventually it'll be like a light bulb goes off in your head and you'll be like oh wow that's how you do it oh I have done it okay um, so keep trying don't quit and it is evening here it is like seven o'clock in the evening on Halloween night. Um, it is a little bit chilly and we really don't celebrate Halloween. So our lights stay off. Um, and there's not a lot of people that will send their kids out here in Canada. So, um, I lately it's just been a lot of people that have been staying home. Um, so have a happy and safe Halloween Make sure that you have reflective items on or your bags are reflective so that everybody can see you. Stay safe out there. Have a great day, evening, weekend, wherever you may be. And you guessed it, it's coming. Keep on hooking. Catch you on the next one. Bye for now.